You're not leaving me. You're not taking Emery away! No! This is what you get for trying to leave! <laughs> my mom, she killed my dad. Please, you have to come quickly. She's coming. Please hurry. <laughs> Emery, Mateo. Breakfast is almost ready. Huh? What's this noise? Mateo, give it back! Make me, Emery. Whoa, 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 what is going on here? Aw, Mateo took my favorite toy! No, I didn't. She's lying, Mom. Also, I stole her toy because she broke my toy car last week. Yes, you did! You have my cutie patootie plushie right there in your arm! No, give it back! Ugh. Okay, okay, both of you stop this right now! But mom, I was just playing with it. She's always using my stuff too. Okay, let's take a deep breath. Emery, why do you think Mateo took your toy? Because I saw him with it! Emery, did you ask Mateo if you could share? N no, mom. Mateo, it's important to ask before you borrow something. You're right, Mom. I'm sorry. You should apologize to your little sister first, son. Sorry, Emery. <sighs> that's okay. Just don't take my stuff without my permission next time. Now that's what we're talking about. Are you guys coming downstairs? The breakfast is ready. Yes, we are. Thank you, love. Okay, okay. Let's go downstairs before your daddy gets mad at us. Quick, quick, quick. Mmm, that smells so good, love. What did you make today? Well, you see, I made us pancakes. But as for Em and Mateo, I've made their favorite. Oatmeal! Ew, no! I don't want oatmeal, Dad! Yeah, I want pancakes too. Emery, eat your oatmeal. It's good for you. But it's boring! I told you, Emery. Pancakes are way better. Okay, okay. Pancake time it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad! Remember to wash our hands before eating! Uh, fine, Mom! <laughs> Emery has to wash her hands! Emery has to wash her hands! I'll get you for that! <laughs> Kids, let's not turn a breakfast into a wrestling match! Emery, Mateo, can you both help me set the table, please? Okay, Mom! I'll get the plates. Thanks for keeping them in line, babe. Teamwork, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, the table is set. And I didn't break anything this time. That's an improvement, Mateo. All right, pancakes are ready. Pancakes make everything better. Especially when we have syrup. Here you go, kids. Mmm, thanks, Mom. This is the best breakfast ever. I'm glad you like it, guys. Moments like these are what make our family special. Yeah! I love our family! Me too, Emery. We're a team, Val. We sure are, Jose. Now, you guys quickly have your breakfast or else you're going to get late for school today, too. I'll go quickly and take a shower. Alright kids, time to go! Buckle up! Bye mom! We'll tell you more stories after school! Bye mom! Love you! <sighs> hmm? 
<laughs> Jose, you left your phone again. I'll just put it on the charger for you. Who's this? They're constantly calling him. <sighs> Would it be alright if I answer it? Maybe I should. Hello? Uh, Jose? Is that you? Why weren't you answering any of my calls? I was getting so worried. Anyway, I just wanted to confirm our meeting for this evening. Are you still up for it? I'll see you at your house later then. Looking forward to it, Jose. See ya! Who was that lady? And why is she coming to see him? But Jose and I had a date tonight. He couldn't have forgotten. Did he? Valeria, my phone! Oh my gosh! Thanks, I'm so bad at remembering things. <laughs> Jose? Who was that woman? And why is she meeting you in the evening? Huh? Who are you talking about? Woman who? The same woman who wouldn't stop calling you again and again. It seems like she was really missing you, huh? Valeria, it's just a work meeting, nothing more. You're overreacting. I can't believe you, Jose. You're lying to me. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Valeria, that's not true. You need to trust me. Trust you? You've been acting so strange lately, Jose. Late night at work, secret phone calls, and now this? Honey, you need to listen to me, please. What is all this, huh? I knew something was off your board of this marriage, aren't you? Just say it already! Uh, just shut <laughs> up! Uh, oh, no! Valeria, I'm so sorry. It was an accident. I swear. <laughs> Valeria, please, let me explain. Valeria, listen to me. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do this. Please forgive me. You were accusing me of something I which I never did. I could never think of doing it to you. So I couldn't hold it in. Please talk to me. Please? Just leave. I want to be alone for some time. <sighs> sure. Take as much time as you need. I will be back in the evening to make it up to you. I love you so much. Emery, focus on your math problems. We can't let our thoughts wander. But, Mom, it's too hard. Come on, sweetheart. I know you can do it just like we practiced. Mom, look. I drew a picture for my project. It's a rocket ship. Wow, that's amazing, Mateo. But let's finish your homework first, okay? I can't believe Jose pushed me like that. I'm still hurting, but I can't let it affect the kids. Mom, I don't get it! Can you explain it again? Of course, Emery. Let's break it down step by step. Um, Mommy, what's that scar on your face? Did you hurt yourself, Mommy? Oh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Let's focus on your homework instead. <laughs> you know your mommy was the smartest one in the class, especially in math. Her mommy is a superhero. She can do everything. <laughs> Aww. Now focus on your homework, kids. The dinner will be ready soon. Huh? Hello? Who's this? Valeria? Oh my gosh! It's been ages since we talked! How have you been? Isabella! It's been forever! I've been okay. You know, just life and stuff. How about you? Oh, you know me. Always causing a bit of trouble here and there. 
But enough about me. I want to hear about you. How's your married life with Jose? <sighs> well, Isabella, it's not as perfect as it seems. We've had some issues lately. Issues? Like what? It's just... Jose's been acting strange, and I found a missed call from his female co-worker on his phone. I don't know if I'm overthinking it, but it's been bothering me. And not only that, this morning he even tried to push me, and I hit my head so hard, and now it still hurts. Oh no, poor you! Oh, Valeria, I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, men can be quite unpredictable sometimes. Have you thought about what you're going to do? I don't know, Isabella. I want to trust him, but this doubt is eating me up inside. Well, you know what they say, Valeria. Where there's smoke, there's a fire. Maybe you should do a little investigating. Keep an eye on him, see if he's hiding something. Isabella, I don't want to invade his privacy or anything. Valeria, you have to protect yourself and your kids. If he's hiding something, you have a right to know. Don't let him deceive you. Trust your instincts. I just don't know, Isabella. I thought we were happy before all this. Sometimes, Valeria, you never really know a person. But you can find out. Keep a close watch on him and don't let him get away with anything. Actually, you know what? I have a plan that might work for you. What's the plan? Do you get it now? I guess. Thanks for the advice, Isabella. I'll think about it. You do that, Valeria. Remember, I'm just a phone call away if you need more advice. Good luck, dear. Hey, babe. I've been waiting for you all night. Uh, Valeria, is that you? What's going on? Shh. Don't ask questions. Just follow me. Do you like it, babe? Valeria, this isn't like you. What's gotten into you? You don't like it? Valeria, I love you just the way you are. You don't need to change a thing. <sighs> hey, hey, don't get upset. Listen, this is all lovely. But why does it seem like you're forcing yourself to do all of this? And why would I force myself to do that? You're my husband. Because I know my wife. She'd rather surprise me even wearing her favorite pajamas because she looks just as beautiful in that too. I'm sorry, my love, for how I treated you earlier in the morning. Really, Jose? Really. And I'll tell you what. You're the most beautiful woman in the world to me. Thank you, Jose. I just wanted to do something special for you tonight. You always make me feel special. Just by being yourself. Now, will you please change so we can enjoy the night? I'm really hungry, by the way. <laughs> Aww. Okay, then. Give me five minutes. I'll quickly get changed. Okay. I'll check up on the kids one last time. Jose! I'm all done. Let's go? Mm-hmm. You're looking so perfect now. Just as you already are. Aw, thank you, honey. I love you so much. I love you so much, too. Now let's go. Everything seemed to be going right ever since that day. 
I decided to not listen to my insecurities and Jose had been spending more time with the family. I felt like my life was coming back together and I was so happy to see everything coming back to normal. But then one unlucky day, things decided to take a massive turn on our family. Emery, hurry! You're going to be late for school! Mom, my mom is ready! Uh, I don't want to go to school today. Mateo, get out of bed right now! Just five more minutes, Mom. Mom, can I go ahead? I don't want to be late because of him. Fine, Emery, but make sure he's up when you leave. Bye, my love. I'm sorry. I couldn't drop you off at school today. It's all right, Daddy. Have a great day at work. Bye now. Bye. Have a great day at school. Mateo, I mean it. Get up this instant. Okay, okay. I'm up. This boy, he's always wanting to skip school. Come on, my love. Don't be so mad at such little things. Why don't you allow him a day off anyway? Well, if you don't know already, your dear son has already taken five days off this month. I can't believe you're asking me to allow him more. This is totally unacceptable. Okay, okay, calm down, jeez. <laughs> All ready for school, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Wait, your lunchbox. Ah, <sighs> he forgot it again. Oh well, I should also leave before you hit me with that lunchbox. See you later, my love. <laughs> Bye. Love you. <laughs> love you too. Bye. Hold it right there. This is a restricted area. We don't have time for this. Get out of our way. I won't let you go any further. You're not getting through me! Lock the doors! Lock the doors now! Somebody call 911! Guys, we need to hide. Mateo, what do we do? We stay quiet and find a place to hide. Trust me. I know you're in here. Come out. Or I'll find you! Stay quiet, everyone. You thought you could stop me, kid? <laughs> Mateo! <laughs> Kids, we need to get out of here. Stay low, stay quiet, and follow me. I have to find my brother! I can't leave without him! Emery, please, we need to go now. Your safety comes first. Little girl, what are you doing here? Mateo! Where are you, Mateo? No, Mateo! Please wake up! It's me, Emery! No, Mateo! Breaking news, a tragic and horrifying incident has taken place at Valley Brook Elementary School. 
two armed Assyrians entered the school, leading to casualties and chaos. Authorities are urging parents to stay away from the area. Jose, please answer. Something terrible is happening at the kids' school. Valeria, what's going on? Are the kids okay? I don't know, Jose. They're saying there's been an attack on their school. We need to find them. I'm leaving work right now. I'll meet you at the school. Stay on the line, Valeria. We have to find them, Valeria. They have to be here somewhere. Have you seen my son? He's in first grade. Please, we're doing everything we can to account for everyone. We need your cooperation. Jose, where are they? They can't be. We have to keep looking, Valeria. We won't give up until we find them. You're okay, sweetheart. Please, I was so scared, Mom and Dad. I saw Mateo. He, he. Emery, tell us what happened. We were in the classroom, and the bad guys came. Mateo tried to protect his friend, but they, they. Emery, where's Mateo now? to find out what happened. Valeria, who did this? It was two men with masks. They <laughs> shot my teacher and, and everyone. We'll find who did this, Emery, and they will pay for taking Mateo from us. Emery, can you remember anything about those men? Anything that might help the police? It's okay, sweetheart. We'll get through this together. Emery, we need to be strong. For Mateo, and for each other. My whole life was turning upside down. I had lost my child. A piece of me. It was so hard for me to accept the truth. Every day I blamed myself for forcing him to go to school. And now I can't even see him for the rest of my life. Emery, you know mom has been through a lot since... since Mateo's... you know. I miss him, dad. But why is mom acting this way? It's been so long. I know, sweetheart. Losing Mateo was... it was the hardest thing we've ever faced. Your mom is still struggling to cope with it. But why doesn't she talk to anyone? She's always alone. She never leaves the house! Emery, grief is different for everyone. Your mom is trying to deal with it in her own way. But it's not that easy for her. She's... she's changed. I want my old mom back, Dad. The one who used to smile and laugh with us. I do too, Emery. But right now, we need to support her and give her time. It's important to let her heal at her own pace. Okay, Dad. I'll try to understand. We all do, Emery. And we'll keep trying to help her find her way back to us.
Valeria, we need to talk. It's about us. Our marriage. Hey, I know you don't want to talk to anyone. But this is serious. <sighs> Valeria, I can't go on like this. You've been distant. Lost in your grief. What is there to talk about, Jose? Emery and I can't keep living like this. Mom? Dad? What are you saying, Jose? You want a divorce, is that it? Yes, Valeria. I can't do this anymore. I can't watch you destroy yourself like this. And Emery, she deserves a better life. No, please! Not a divorce! You coward! You want to take my daughter away from me? I won't let you! First I lost my son, and now you want to take away my daughter from me as well? Valeria, I just want what's best for Emery. I can't watch her grow up like this. Stop it! Please! Stop! How dare you! Are you going insane? What were you just about to do, huh? Mom, Dad, please stop! Valeria, this isn't the way. We need to find a solution for Emery's sake. I won't let you take her away from me. Valeria, stop! We can't go on like this! You want to abandon us, Jose! You're no better than those monsters at the school! Valeria, put that down! You're not leaving me. You're not taking Emery away! Dad, no! <laughs> This is what you get for trying to leave! You're crazy! You killed him! <laughs> my mom, she killed my dad! Please, you have to come quickly! She's coming! Please hurry! Freeze! Hands up! <laughs> it had to be done to protect Emery! <laughs> And now I was finally free. But, wait, what did she mean by to protect me? I found out too late. I found out that the team who attacked my school was part of no one but my dad's mafia group. And they all planned this to destroy the school land so that they could legally have the building to themselves. My dad was so selfish that he wanted to divorce my mom so he could take me to use for his work. But now, I feel grateful that my mom did kill my dad.